Good morning. It is day three of a week on farm foods. Basil's hungry. I'm hungry. There's a motorbike outside. Time to get some breakfast. Honestly, why do you do these things? Hmm? Look, you're kind of going to just have to use your imagination a little bit as far as breakfasts go because, I mean, it has sausage in it. It's got beans in it. The only questionable thing is the chips, but, uh, oh wait, no, 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 there are two questionable things. Onion gravy. Who, what kind of madman has beans and gravy? Uh, this, this is the work, of not, not even of an evil genius, just of an evil lunatic. And if it's anything like, oh my god, God, this thing has 71% of your daily salt. Is that legal? That is, that is next level. That is, wow. <laughs> wow. So, can I microwave this thing? Yes, takes 10 minutes. 10 minutes to microwave what is quite possibly going to kill me. I mean, at least you get quite a lot of chips. In you go. Microwave for 10 minutes. Marvellous. Oops, I did 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, folks, what do we reckon? Does this one look anything like this one? It's, uh, yes, it's certainly going to be a close race. Right, so best try this thing. Let's try a chip first, which I'm guessing are going to be a chip blanket. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a chip blanket. Can I just try one of them though? No, I can try like three and a half. Hmm. You know what? I grew up with microchips. Is that child cruelty? I don't know. I've turned out okay, I think. So let's try a sausage next. For some reason it's in onion gravy. God knows why. Is this going to be... Yeah. Can you hear that? That's a weird sausage. Come on, Steam, go away. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. that's spongy. <laughs> I think it tastes like the other one I had the other day. Can we see what's in it? 16% pork, 15% chicken, pork rind. Marvellous. Beans. Surely the beans will be okay. The beans are okay. Do beans and gravy to go together. I mean, I am northern, but this is even a new one on me because it's onion gravy. Let's try it. Ooh, let's get a bit of onion in there. Mm. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't know there was any beans on that fork. That was pure onion salty goodness. <laughs> the gravy's all right. I really like cheap onion gravy, so that's fine. So maybe I'll maybe I'll have a chip with the gravy. Mm. Also fine. This is weird. Why is there onion gravy with my breakfast? I mean, I know it's not even necessarily a breakfast, but why is there onion gravy with my beans? Currently doing some spring cleaning. Nothing I love better than cleaning. He lied. But what that means is all of the Legos had to be carted out for the, I don't know, less than annual clean. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's still looking a bit dusty. A bit of dust in there. You see it? It's not too bad. They're in the cabinet, so it doesn't get too dusty, thankfully. Right, for lunch, I'm going to go in with a positive attitude, because surely farm foods can't screw up chicken and bacon bakes, which puff golden pastry, pa puff pastry golden, golden puff pastry, I don't know how that's supposed to read. And um, I am excited for it, though. Let's see, Let's see what the damage is like per bake. Uh, we have 27% fat, 23% protein, only 18% salt. Is that the lowest percentage so far? Who knows? I've got a feeling these things are going to be diddy because they are rocking about in there. So I think I'm going to need both. But I'm just going to say I'm looking forward to it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Farm Foods. I believe in you. Well, yeah, okay. They're not tiny. They're not tiny, but, you know, two, two will be enough for lunch. Come on, get them in the oven. Okay, it's had 25 minutes. Ooh. 
They actually look pretty good. Uh, I imagine they're probably going to be hotter than the centre of the earth. So I'll let them cool down a little bit and then I'll chow down. Decided to join me while I have a bit of a, a break from all the tidying up. I've got no doubt that uh, this is still going to be blisteringly hot. Would you like a smell? You first. Wow, that's salty. They load their stuff with salt. I'm probably covered in it. Oh, I'm not getting any chicken taste in that. Just salt, creamy salt. Might as well be sperm. Playing a bit of Luigi's Mansion this afternoon. Come on, final boss, Gracie. It's hard. It is hard. Basil is not impressed. We did it! Yay! Basil doesn't care. So for dinner today, because it's Friday the night I'm filming this, it's treat night. It's takeaway night. So... Oh yes, Chinese king ribs. Almost sound like you're swearing a bit, didn't it? And they have some king ribs. And uh, delicious Chinese style king ribs. They, um, they feel quite hench, these bad boys, and they look really fake going by the packaging. So, you're going to join me with this, aren't you, Grace, tonight? Because oh, yeah, we've it. got some, quite a lot. So, we've got some king ribs. We're going to also have 10 duck spring roll. Well, we probably won't have 10, but we're going to eat them anyway. Filo pastry filled duck meat spring roll and hoisin sauce. No artificial colours. See, that's important when it comes to spring rolls. Uh, it can do these in the oven. That's good. I also have chicken satay skewers made with 100% chicken breast. That's good. Go and buy the rest of the food that, that farm food has. That is certainly a selling point. I love satay chicken. If you watch my month on muscle food, you'll know I bloody love theirs. So let's see if I like this as well. And then we have some special fried rice as well, which has uh, char siu pork pork and shrimp. I don't know what why pork's on there twice, <laughs> but it is. Uh, this is incredibly cold, so I'm going to put that down. And I think we can oven all of these. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, that takes like 40 minutes. Oh, wow. God. Oh, God. And it says don't take the lid off. Really? Don't you dare take that lid off. Don't you I mean, it might catch fire, but that adds to the, the char siu flavour. I don't know what that means. So, yes, let's prepare a farm foods Chinese takeaway. Well, here are the ribs. They just look like flat bricks. They do. They look, they're very old Lego. Like they should slot together. They uh, they remind me of kind of the uh, McDonald's rib sandwich that they do occasionally. So um, yes, they they will go nicely there, and then we'll do. The, uh, the spring rolls, which have just fallen out, and the chicken satay. <laughs> so, hmm, get this back in the oven then. Actually, smells all right, you know. I don't go that far. <laughs> it smells like Chinese chips. Yeah, so oh, that's exactly. Oh, they've gone a bit fatty, haven't they? Hmm. So, if you wouldn't mind, <laughs> I'm gonna create a bridge. You're not gonna have spring rolls, are you? No. Okay. So, <laughs> and then the satay. Oh God. Oh, what is this? Look at this, what a feast. What an interesting feast this is. So fatty. Oh. All right, back in she goes. If I can do this one handed. Marvelous. Right, another 15 minutes and it'll be done. Get a load of that sound. The frazzle. So yeah, they've gone exactly like I expected them to. We've got, they've gone crispy. These look pretty good, to be honest. We've got a, I mean, good luck with that. What? Asbestos hands. Okay. Well, okay, fair enough. Let's get it dished okay. up. Okay, I'm gonna dive in and just try the, uh, the ribs. The ribs. Is there a bone in there? I hope not. It's not a rib then, is it? 
Oh no, do you like it? It's a little porky, which you would hope. There's some Chinese flavouring in there. It's not as salty as you would expect. Try a little bit, I know you really didn't want some, but a tiny bit. It's not awful, I'll try mm. some rice. It's a weird texture, it's a bit mushy. Oh, the rice is dry. Oh my god. I'm not going to have any more of that now. That's so dry. <laughs> I'll try a uh, chicken satay, which looks and smells really good. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Is it nutty? Teeny, teeny bit. Not too bad. I don't really like chicken satay when you get it and you scoop it in the peanut. It's too much. But that's really good. I shall try now. Oh, a yeah. duck spring roll. It's exploded. It has exploded. Gonna be hot. Mm. Really good texture. Pastry is good. It sounded crispy. Mm. Filling's really nice. So is it quite mm. greasy? All of it. It is. The pan is dripping. So it's not good for you. But two of the four things are really nice. So fifty percent of the stuff is is really good on this plate, which is better odds than last time. I, it's the best ratioed meal. Right, Basil's gone missing. I don't know where he is. Are you having a wee? Oh, where is he? Are you in our bedroom? Are you... Wait, what are you doing there? Let me... What are you doing? Huh? Are you okay? Have I woken you? I'm sorry. Bye. Oh, right then, that was day three of a week on farm foods and it ended really bloody good. But before I get ahead of myself, let's go through the day quickly. Breakfast was sausage, chips, onion, gravy, beans. What the hell was that? That was bizarre. Would not recommend those things going together. You may like it, not this guy. My lunch was uh, my chicken and bacon pasties or pasties as you Americans seem to like to call it pasty. Uh, nice flaky pastry, nice salty <laughs> bacony centre. Uh, that was okay. I mean, I, it was fine. I enjoyed it. I ate them. So I was uh, I was fairly happy with that. But, you know, would I buy them again? Probably not. But if someone said, here, have this pasty, I would probably eat it. Because I'm a fat pig. And then my dinner was my Chinese selection, which... 50% really great, 50% not. The rice was really, really dry. The rib things were weird. I mean, I would give them another go in bread with cheese and some lettuce and some sauce, perhaps. But I, I guess it's my fault for not really looking at the packaging properly because I thought they were going to be ribs, actual ribs that I could chow down on, you know, with bone in them in the middle. And uh, they weren't. They were these weird rib witch things. But, you know, they are what they are. Then the duck spring roll rolls were delicious, and these chicken satay was even more delicious. They were the nicest thing I think I've eaten so far in this week. So yeah, ended on a high. It's going to be interesting to see if I can top that. So if you want to find out where things go as we reach the middle point of the week on, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see the entire week now you can do. Please support the show on Patreon. It really does help to keep the show going. Yeah, it's been good. I sense things are on this trajectory. Let's hope that they can keep going. See you tomorrow.